is April 26, 2015. How y'all doing? How y'all living? It's Sunday, guys, and I just posted the vlog from last week. It's really early. It's a little bit before 6. Headed to work. Today is extra special for me because today is my baby sister's birthday. She is 24 today. And uh, one thing that I forgot to tell you guys last week, I was meaning to tell you guys last week, is that Alice is coming to visit, okay? She will be here this weekend. It is part of her birthday turn up. So we're so excited. Um, I'm so excited to have her here. Um, yeah, so your favorite YouTube sisters are gonna be together once again for another birthday turn up. And I am elated. I'm just elated. I can I, I just cannot contain myself. I've been we've been knowing I've been knowing that she was, was gonna come for a few weeks now. I've been meaning to tell you guys in the vlogs, but just never came around to it. So I'm really excited about that. More than blessed to have sister uh, like, you know, my own. And I, when I talk to other people about it, when they're having like family issues, when I'm giving advice, sometimes I don't understand where people are coming from in that regard because I get along with, I only have one sibling. We, the, the way we saw it was we might as well get along. And we, it was kind of like we had each other, you know, in the midst of the foolishness that was happening in our home and, you know, uh, just all the stuff that my family's been through, like we had each other and that's how we see life, period. It's like we have each other and um, we have our disagreements, but never, they don't, it doesn't go past the day. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't go past a few moments actually. I'm so blessed to have like a sister who loves and cares about me, who's in my corner, who supports me more than blessed so happy birthday alice i love you what's up guys today is tuesday monday oh my gosh my day is all mixed up yeah today is monday and i am off as you guys can see and i've been quite productive today i did like all my laundry like everything it's everything is is nice and clean so it makes me feel really good really accomplished i went to costco today my landlord is leaving for hong kong tomorrow so I wanted to get her something, so I got her a cake. Um, just kind of like a thank you, um, because you know, though I do pay rent, she you know has done things like just over and beyond, you know, like watching my dog for free and, and everything. So I really appreciate that. I um, am finishing up a paper right now, um, and I'm also doing some planning. There is a project that I'm currently working on that's taking a lot of of my brain power and time. Also. New assignments, you know, sending out applications or having my recruiter send out applications um, so I can know whether I'll stay here or I will we'll move on to the next city. I've had four offers so far, two in the L.A. area, two not in the L.A. area, and I declined both offers, all four offers, actually. And, um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do, guys. To be honest, I'm just kind of letting things happen. Um... I really just don't know what I want to do, whether I want to stay here or not. Now, guys, I love this area. I bet you guys can tell. I'm sorry, guys. I bet you guys can tell that I love this area. And I'll tell you why. Mostly because of the weather. I just love the fact that it's sunny most of the time. It rained for the very first time. And in the eight weeks I've been here, it rained for the first time two days ago. For the first time. Um... Other than that, it's always sunny. It's always nice weather. It, sometimes it cools down at night. The job, though, it was probably my most difficult assignment in the beginning, trying to get adjusted. However, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The people are so awesome. They treat me like family. It's it's sad that I have to go. I love the weather, and consequently, it's been putting me in a better mood. Uh, I think because of the weather, weather, I think it's a, a compilation between the weather and also the fact that I don't work nights anymore. So I'm sleeping when everybody else is sleeping and I'm awake when everybody else is awake. So I think that does something for my mood. I'm sleeping more so I'm in better spirits. Though I love LA and it's a good place to be for a lot of reasons. If you're into music, acting, social media, YouTube, makeup artistry, beauty services. It's a really good place to be. However, there are so many different up and, up and coming cities 
that LA, I know people view LA as the promised land. Um, and maybe yet yeah, still is, but I feel like we're kind of, we're getting in a society now where, I mean, you can be anywhere, you know? I mean, Atlanta's like up and coming. It's like the Hollywood of the South. Chicago, if you want to get into acting and Broadway, that's a really good place to be as well. NYC, lest we forget that. Um, if you're into music, you know what I mean? Depending on what kind of music you're into, Nashville's a good place to be. Um, when you get into the Beverly Hills, um, Hollywood area, um, and downtown area, you know, everybody's an aspiring something. I'm an aspiring actor. I'm the next this. I'm a producer. I'm a this. I'm a this. I'm a that. And, you know, sometimes you can meet some phony people. Let's put it, let's put it like that. Phony people. Um, but outside of the area, like the surrounding suburbs are really, really nice. And I've met some really awesome people. I would, I would be glad to stay a little while longer. I, but... I don't think I'd be mad if I had to leave as well. Um, the whole travel nursing thing for me is supposed to be an experience and I I don't want to get stuck in one place to s this soon in the game. Let's put really? it like Come show us your haircut. Come show us your haircut, beautiful, handsome boy. Yeah. Come show us your haircut. This is the only way you'd end up on my bed. Fresh after a haircut, shampoo and condition. Look at my beautiful boy, my handsome boy. He don't know what to do because he's on my bed and he's never been up on the bed before. Baby boy, he's so comfortable. He's so worn out. He's had a lot of action and activity today. By the way, it's Wednesday, Tuesday. Dang, Tuesday is what it is. Say hi. Say hi to your uncles and aunties. Lily? Good boy. Good boy. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when they're filming a movie out here. They have all these, it's it actually goes all the way down the street of like white trailer. Uh, it looks like, like right, white trailers, yeah. And I don't know what they're filming here, but it looks like seven or eight trailers back to back to back to back. Um, and I see like a lot of security also as well on the premises. So left onto Milan Avenue. I see a lot of uh, security also um, where over there as well. In so. a quarter mile, turn right onto Huntington Drive. So this is actually this is actually in my neighborhood as well. I, I was talking to my landlord and she says that it actually happens quite a bit in this area as far as like filming for movies and shows goes. But anyway guys, that's not why I came on. I came on because I want to tell you guys that I am, my sister's gonna be here this weekend, you guys know that already. And also I have a friend that's coming like shortly, actually it, it overlaps. My sister comes, my sister leaves on a Tuesday, my friend comes on a Monday. So they'll be here for the same day for one day. So her name is Whitney, you guys will meet her when she comes, but I also want to come in because guys, I just found out that I'm going to be in Michigan. I'm going to be in Detroit Turn right on the in the beginning right. of June. So if you guys are in Detroit, please let me know because it'll be my sister and I. So perfect opportunity to do like a quick meetup, even if it's just like a few of us, like four or five, six, seven of us, whatever, we can meet up at a coffee shop or something, talk and have some coffee, whatever. So let me know if you are in the Detroit area, and you want to meet your girls let us know what up guys it's Friday how y'all doing how y'all doing I'm stuck in LA traffic right now and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it so I'm just chilling I am on my way to pick up Alice I know you guys can see that my hair hold on let me take off these real quick my hair is quite different I got it done this morning. Um, L-E-V-I is um, in the car with me because my sister wanted me to bring him to the airport. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick her up from the airport and then we are going out for lunch. And then, oh yeah, we're going to the Grove. We're gonna go walk around, bring Levi with. We'll have lunch there, probably sit outside since we have him with us. Hopefully that'll be okay. And then, we're gonna go get um, our nails done and our toes done. So, I'm excited about it. I'm a little sleepy because I've been up really early. My appointment was for really early and I didn't get to bed till late last night, so. 
All right, guys. I will see you when Alice gets here. Come say hello. Hello to who? The, to, to, to you two. Since they don't... Without a bra? <laughs> anyway, guys. What's up? At this point in the vlog... It's completely gone. It's erased. iMovie did it to me once again. I really do need to upgrade to Final Cut Pro. I really just do. But ain't nobody trying to drop $300 on it. YouTube is not doing it for me like that just yet. So it's a lot of money to invest. Um, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it because I'm tired of these things happening. And also, I'm tired of using my phone um, with iMovie too. I feel like that creates more of an issue. Um... Every time I, yeah. So anyway, I have a vlog camera. I just, I just forgot it uh, at my parents' house. So that's the only reason why I didn't want to invest in a new one. I do need to upgrade anyway to a new camera. But I just, I feel like it, since I have one, like it, I just can't find that it's pointless. Like one of the things I don't like about my vlog camera is it doesn't autofocus in video. It, it only you have to make sure that it's focused before you start recording. So I don't like that because, you know, you can't see. You don't have a viewfinder. You can't see. So anyway, guys, at this point, everything is erased. I'm really mad because you guys missed Alice first coming from the airport. Levi's in first reaction to her. Oh, my goodness. This dog just flipped out when he saw her. He was like, oh, my gosh, where have you been? And also, what happened? Uh, we went to the Grove on Friday, after, right after we picked her up, we went straight to the Grove and we had um, lunch at this Italian restaurant out there. We sat outside. It was beautiful. We vlogged out there. Uh, but I only have like one clip from like our food that we had at the restaurant. Other than that, like none of the vlogs, Alice was giving you her first impressions while sitting at the restaurant of LA, even though she's been out here before. So, um, so yeah, and then after that, we kind of walked around. We went on the trolley, the trolley that takes you up and down um, the Grove. We had vlogged that. What else did we do? We got our nails done um, later on um, that evening. Vlogged that. Gone. Gone. And then Saturday morning, we went to church, and church was so good um so anyway basically he tied in revelation 6 9 i think it's 6 9 with the oppression and um the mistreatment of african males african american males or black people um here in the u.s and the church's role this is why i love this guy he's always very very relevant the church's role um and not only taking responsibility for what's happening, but the church's responsibility being so passive when it comes to political issues. Um, a lot of the times our churches are in this, these same uh, uh, underserved communities, um, but our churches are there and we're not even serving our own community. So he kind of pointed that out. And um, so sponsor, for us to take responsibility and to serve our communities better, um, that is, you know, GED programs and um, how to do an interview seminars and for those of us who do have businesses and those of us who are uh, uh, better off you know pulling up our brother with us so that was really good and also um, how the church can be proactive take an active part and not being passive when it comes to political issues so that was really awesome and then later on last night I did get a tiny bit of footage from last night, we went to um, Lure in Hollywood, and yeah, it was a good time. I think I think pretty much we both had a good time. Lisi wants to say what's up. What's up guys? <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking kind of crazy. I just woke up. Yeah, we're both just waking up, so excuse everything. Um, yeah, so she's here. It's awesome. About and to she'll... go tour. Huh? About to go tour. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We're on our tour. <laughs> By the time you guys, she'll still be here next week, so I'll make it up. I'll make it up, and we'll have an awesome vlog next week. Um, uh, so, guys, yeah, so on to the clips from last night, and then we'll take it out. So, it's Saturday night now. What's up? We are headed to Lore. There's the sister. Wish you could, we could show you the outfits, but real quickly, where'd you get it from? I got ooh, Ross. <laughs> Ross <laughs> necklace is from um, Charlotte Urs. Purse is Michael Kors, and shoes is, uh, is, what are they? I don't know, you bought them. Oh, shoes are from Outlook. <laughs> and this dress is from Nordstrom's, and shoes are from Marshall's. 
<laughs> that was like the ghettoest you just outfit lot. of the day. I know, I did, I did. Anyway, guys, we're headed out. We'll check in with you guys. <laughs> What up guys? We just got back from Lore. Um I apologize for the, the trash behind me. I'm actually gonna clean it all up before I go to bed. Um things are a little disorganized since we got an extra person in the house and it's just things everywhere. So So Gort oh house is naked, so she can't give her input, but I guess you guys can hear her. <laughs> So we went to the lore and I promise you, neither of us danced with any black guys. Did you? No, we're multicultural. It's like <laughs> they were present, but for whatever reason, it was the Latinos. We even danced with two guys, like they looked like they were from India. And they're really, they were really nice. I think they were my favorite. Everything but, which I found was funny. But I feel like the DJ was really good. You think? Yeah, the DJ was awesome. The DJ was really good. Montana's. Um, we got, <laughs> we got free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> the plan is to go to Venice Beach and also to... What else are we doing? We're doing a Hollywood tour. We're doing a Hollywood tour kind of similar to the one that I did a f way back, well, a few weeks ago, kind of earlier when I first got here, but except for it's a different company, but it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same type of thing. So those are the two things we're doing. And then we may go to the standard later on in the evening, which is kind of like, um, well, you know what, guys? I'm gonna leave a link to Michelle's, one of Michelle's vlogs, um, when her and I and a few of her friends went to the Standard um, a few weeks ago, so you guys can kind of see it. It's really, really nice. It's like a rooftop lounge um, in downtown LA, and it's it's what it's rated one of the best spots. Apparently, um, it's really, really chill. Like that's what I like about it. it's really, really chill. Like you can just meet people, have good conversation. It's not like a club atmosphere. It's really, really chill. You can like, you know, lounge around on the couches or sit at the bar and it's really, really nice. So um, I'll go ahead and leave her link below, uh, her, the video where we all went together down below so you guys can check that out. Otherwise, we are going to check out. Alice is still naked so I can't show you her, but we are gonna check out and we will see you guys next week in a another video. And um, yeah, so I'll also be here still in the next vlog when you guys see it. And also my friend Whitney, and then you guys will also be seeing my depart from Los Angeles, California. So it's gonna be sad, but anyway, guys, you guys are great, but you guys knew that already. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless.